What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. You guys saw the hands-on video, the unboxing video, the side-by-side -side comparison video, and the size comparison in that unboxing for the Nest Audio. So, the million dollar question right now is, is this worth the $100 price tag? So here's going to be our review. Obviously, this is not a long-term review, but in our immediate time with the Nest Audio, we definitely have some nice takeaways. The design is phenomenal. The sound is so-so. For that $100 price point, I don't think you can go wrong with it. If you are looking for an all-inclusive, great-sounding 360 speaker, this is obviously not going to be it. But what Google has done here with the touch controls, with the increased sound, the better drivers, and all of that other stuff that they have done with the inclusion of bass and treble fixes in the app itself for the home. Uh, it's not a bad device. I think if you can find it for $100, ideally if it goes on sale for Black Friday, it might be a little better price point, but I don't think that you're going to get much better for a Bluetooth speaker for $100. Now, the real kicker here is one of the most recent sound tests that we did. The Apple AirPod just blew this thing out of the water. Comparing this against just the Google Home and the original Mini and one of my other uh, Google Home speakers, it's just, it, it looks, sounds great. The problems arise when you start comparing it to other quality items, including Google's own Home Hub Max. I get these are more expensive devices, but it's one of those things you don't want to put good money to bad use. And I'm not saying spending $100 on this baby is bad. It really is going to depend on your use case. If you guys are going to be using this as a single bedroom speaker or in a garage like I'm going to be doing, it does sound great. It will fill the room. The lows are there. The mids are there as well. The highs are still there. There's just no filling sound in this speaker. There's no oomph behind it. And as silly as that sounds, you know what I'm talking about if you have listened to a quality speaker or subwoofer or sound system in the past to get those mids and highs. And it, it, it all just builds up into a great package. That's not this. And I don't think Google meant it to be. I think they literally came up with this to create the mid-tier segment for their speaker systems. And I think they did fine with that. I think for what it is, it is great. Google's known to cut their pricing during holidays or during different sales. And this right here for I think about $80 would be phenomenal. If you guys could find this on sale for 20 bucks off, which isn't unheard of, especially with Black Friday coming, that's when I think you should pick one of these babies up. I know it's not a big deal. You're not gonna be moving the speaker around but I don't like the proprietary connector either. Again, it is a Bluetooth speaker. I like being able to take this with me without having to bring another cable along as well. So again, not a deal breaker, just something else I wanted to call out for you guys as well. That's really it. I don't wanna to go too in depth on this video. If you can't tell, overall, great sounding speaker, just not $100 great to me personally. If you are going to get a Sonos One, or one of the Stemfoski speakers by Sonos from Ikea. I think those give you better sound. They get a little louder. And again, how loud something get is not the deciding factor. It's that overall sound quality, but I like something to be a little louder if you're farther away. Especially for me, like I said, personally, this is in my garage right now. I have my uh, HomePod up in my studio, but I, I just think there are better options out there as well. Again, not trying to turn you off, not a bad speaker. Just keep these things in mind for my honest opinions behind it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know, are you going to be picking up one of these now? Is it worth it to you? Did Google do good on the pricing for this? Let me know in the comments below. We'll catch you in the next one, guys.